Hi, my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a homeschooling mom. We just finished our second year of homeschool and my daughter is heading into second grade next year. On this channel, I like to talk about homeschooling, mom life, and faith and culture. In today's video, I'm gonna go through how I organize my reading program. We use All About Reading, and All About Reading is a multi-sensory approach. All About Reading incorporates lots of tactile and sensory games and really wonderful books. So when you order All About Reading, you get the teacher's manual, a workbook that is thick like this, and that is full of all the activities. Now, I don't have the activity book because what I do when I get it, I basically take the whole thing apart and I organize it before I start teaching. Each level also comes with your phonogram cards and the list of word cards that your child's going to be reviewing and it also comes with the reader. You also need to order the letter tiles. Now the letter tiles, we started off with them and we attached them to a whiteboard so that they're magnetic, but that you could also write on the whiteboard. I was using the letter tiles probably just until a couple weeks ago. And when we integrated the All About Spelling, which is All About Reading Spelling Program, I just decided to splurge and get the app for the iPad, and I am so happy I did that. The app is fantastic. You can select what level you're in and the lesson, and it will only pop up the letter tiles you are using. You can also do the same thing with All About Spelling so that your child doesn't see every single letter tile. This way, you are no longer possibly losing tiles. I've had to buy it twice because I keep misplacing them. But with this, I don't have to worry about where are the letter tiles because they're in the app. So I would highly recommend that if you have a tendency to lose things or you have multiple kids. But that is another modality that you're gonna use in this approach. Now before I show you how I organize, I'm just gonna give you a couple really great things to look at in the actual All About Reading book. They give you a page on what you're going to need. So it talks about all the materials. It teaches you what you are introducing to your kid. It tells you exactly what to say. It tells you exactly what you're going to need. So there's two things I use when I'm organizing my All About Reading material. My plastic index card box, which I can link to. This one is a little bit larger than uh, ones I've used before, but it's totally okay because I have some extra sight cards that I put in here. I do not buy a new word divider tabs. I just reuse them and then what I do is for the other level that I'm no longer using, I just wrap those up and store them for later. You can definitely buy new ones if you don't wanna have to do that every time. That's totally up to you, uh, but this just saves me a little bit of money. I also have a little plastic bag that sometimes I put the phonogram and word cards in if we're on the road and she needs to practice some of her cards. I don't always do it in the exact order. I figure if she reviews cards every day, it doesn't really matter what order we do it in. So the next thing that I use is a three inch binder. This can be bought on Amazon. I like to take apart the activity books and then organize them. So what I do is I use this first little pocket to put the progress chart and my daughter fills it out. She really enjoys doing that. We have less than 20 lessons left until she's done and I think we'll finish up this summer. And it comes with little tropical stickers that I just put in there. I did make a second reading progress chart for my other daughter when she does this so she also can keep track of her progress. I also made sure that when I took out the pages, I keep the jobs of silent E and the syllable division rules super duper handy because you use these a lot and it's really great to have examples. So I also just keep these right here and then I have a few extra envelopes that I'll show you what I use them for. There are two main sections to my book. I organize my lessons to have two lessons per sleeve. And what I can do is I can just pull them out 
and give them, my, give them to my daughter. And then as you'll see, lesson two is back to back. So basically if you went like this, you would see lesson one is all facing one direction and lesson two is facing another direction. And then I like to label lessons one and two so that when I'm flipping through my book, it's really easy to find them. I only do this because I am saving this for my daughter and it makes it so much easier for me. And what's really great is if we are doing these review sheets on the road, I can just pull them out and put them in a folder for my daughter when she's also doing her word cards on the road. So every single one of them has what lesson it is. It's super easy. As I said, I, I enjoy this system immensely. I didn't do this fully with the first First book, I did it halfway through and it made such a difference. Now I will say that I don't prepare the activities until I get to the lesson. So I do that the night before. What I will show you is how I do the activity storage. So for the lesson activities, I then do one through 10. And you'll, so they're kind of thick, but what I do is, I'll show you with this one. I cut out whatever the page is, Okay this, is, okay, this is less than 10, be a hero. So obviously some of them have full pages, some of them don't. Then what I do is I always make sure that I write down on the back, either if it's an envelope or a plastic bag, I tape it to there and then I stick in all the pieces. That works for us and as I said earlier, I just organize it the night before if I have to cut anything out and at the end of a lesson, I just stick it back in here and I figured that I would organize them 10 lessons at a time so that the sheet, the sleeve protector doesn't get completely overwhelmed. What I like about thicker binders, I mean, you don't necessarily need three inch binders, but it lays nice. You know, it's not like busting at the seams and this totally works for us. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I organize All About Reading. If you have All About Reading and you wanna share out some of your favorite techniques and tips for keeping it organized or keeping lesson planning to a minimum, please share them below. I would love to hear them. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye.